In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the parse float method in JavaScript. And the parse float method is basically converting strings or variables, which are strings but are numbers, but then convert them into a number with decimal if ever they have any decimal. And this is very useful if you're working with money related items or calculations where you need the decimals. So before you even start, if you're looking for a Chart.js course and you want to learn more about Chart.js, check out my Udemy course in the description box. Just click on the link below and you'll find a lot of information about it. So let's start and explore here the JavaScript tutorial because this is a real beginner's topic, the parse float. However, it can be very good as a refresher as well. So let's start here. So first of all, parse float. Parse float will extract the decimals values from a variable in JavaScript. And basically it force or it converts a variable into a number as well. Or specifically in a floating number, meaning meaning with decimals. So float is basically focused on decimals included. If there's no float, then you have an integer specifically, and an integer is only complete numbers without digits or without uh, decimals. So let's start and explore here. Let's say we have a constant, and this constant is uh, uh, the price of an apple. Apple price. Yeah, so we're buying a fruit, and this fruit is, let's say, uh, 99 cents. All right. So this is 99 cents here. And if we do a console.log, you'll see here we get the apple price. If you show the apple price here, save this, refresh and open up our developer tab, you can see now we get 0 0.99, exactly what we want. So all right, so what happened if we do another one, we have another const, and this is, let's say, orange price and orange price is today on sale because of the the high season however this is not due to some incorrect input we put it in as a string and this is 49 cents all right so what happened now so what happened right now here if we're going to add up the orange price here as well if you were just only putting the orange price here oh sorry if you just only paste the orange price in here you see nothing happens Everything is fine. However, let's go back here as well. You can see here, by the way, if you pay attention here, this is right now a number, right? It's become highlighted blue. And if you paste this one in here, now you can see it becomes gray. Why it becomes gray? Because it's now considered a string. So you already understand it's a string. So if we say now this plus apple price, you would say, well, this will be about one. 48. Let's see if we refresh. We don't get 148. No, we get now a new string variable is 0 0.49, 0 0.99. Basically, the two prices together. So, what we need to do here is to calculate this all together as a because we don't want this, we want a total here. We can convert this, say that this should be a number or a floating number to be specific. So, we say your const, const let's say uh orange new price and the new price is not really the new price but basically the correct uh pricing item so we say orange price float uh, sorry parse float with capital f open parentheses and close parentheses and then once we got this we can put this new orange price in here plus apple price if we save this now let's look at this now we get 148 total price and you can see here right now in the developer tab it's become blue meaning it it, it understands it is a number and not a string all right so this is very nice uh, to know so what happened if for example we have something else here uh, let's get this one here and let's say we are having now here price per orange so now we add this up we save this and refresh and now you get the same item here nothing happens or there's no problem because 
JavaScript or the float, the parse float function or method understands that this extracts only the numbers out of it and it will ignore the orange text or the text here and the string item. So this is very, very nice. So what happens if we do exactly the opposite? Let's say per orange we pay now only 49 cents. Let's save this, refresh. Now you get NAN. So what does NAN stand for? NAN stands for not a number. Basically meaning that right now JavaScript checks this and says, sorry, this number here is not a, we are not able to figure out this number because there is no number in here. The reason why it says no number, because you will say, well, wait a minute, there is a number. Well, that's correct because it can only work if the first values or the first characters are in number. If it doesn't have it, it will not recognize it. So what happened if you put in here one? Let's save this. You will see now it starts to give here the following. It gives here 199. No, sorry, uh, is that correct? Yes, 199. And this is the orange price. Let's see, are we correct with the orange price? Because that is correct. And the reason why it's correct is, of course, it's just one because it's the first value it gets, and then 99 here. So if we go and look only specifically, let's look only specifically on the orange new price, you will see that it will extract one out of it. Refresh, and it says the number one. So now is the question. This is this parse float, and parse float is using always with floating numbers, meaning decimals. So what happens if you don't use parse float, but instead of parse float, we're going to use, let's put this in, we're going to use int. And in, int stands for integer. So int is integer, meaning that it will only get complete digits or it gets the full number, not the decimal. So what happened now is you get 99 or you get this one here, you will see that this will become eventually zero. So let's remove all of this, save this, refresh, and now our number is zero, which is correct because it will trim away the decimals. Or the, uh, the decimals of the number. So this is basically very important. If you're working with numbers, always use parse in to convert numbers. If you have a string like this, convert this string into a parse in or with parse in into a number with digits where you can control all of this. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding to this, maybe it's parse in, float in, uh, how to convert your variable your text or your string number into a variable which is a number instead of string to an integer or a number with floating numbers you can post your question in the comment section below